Hello everybody, it is the 10th of August 2023, welcome to this detailed walk around video of my very very lovely, very special, very rare Audi UR S6 plus spec. It is the 2.2 5 cylinder AAN 6 speed gearbox. It is currently on 122,000 miles. It is in daily use. It was MOT'd in April of this year, including a cam belt and water pump, fully serviced at the same time. I'll take you through the history of the car shortly, but we'll begin initially with the exterior. Go through the panels one by one. So rear bumper is generally very clean. A couple of small marks but nothing that you wouldn't expect from a car that is best part 27 years old now. Moving down the passenger quarter, no blemishes, no dints, no scrapes, no scuffs. Panels are beautifully straight. Same with the front door, passenger wing likewise is blemish free with the exception of a couple of stone chips. The S6 has had slightly uh, fatter wings to accommodate the wider um, drivetrain, the wider um, wheelbase should I say for the four-wheel drive drive system. It just picked up a couple of stone chips on there. Moving around to the front of the car the stone chips continue it's had quite a lot of motorway miles, um, small scuff on the bottom corner of the bumper. Driver side is scuffed there and actually it's quite useful in this light because it really shows those stone chips. I did consider having the bumper painted but this is an absolutely original car and I thought I would leave it for the next person to decide what it is they're wanting to do with that regard. Rear quarter, absolutely lovely. The glass is clean. Oh, there's one. You can just catch it in the light there. That's the only dent on the entire car. But I'm sure a paintless dent removal specialist could pull that nice and easily. All four wheels have been refurbished, beautifully clean and sat on a set of uh, nearly new Kumos. Driver's side rear door, lovely and clean. Again, I'll take down the lines of the car, as you can see, blemish free. Likewise, driver's door, very, very clean. The most significant element of the paintwork on the car is the edge of the front wing there. You can see it's just starting to bubble, which will need some attention at some point. The leading edge of the bonnet, again, a couple of stone chips. There's a small dint just there. But that's the bodywork imperfections out the way. You can see it just presents as a an incredibly tidy car. I always like to be as honest as I can be when I'm looking to move a car on. Just to save the time of everybody, I don't want to disappoint anyone. The car is advertised genuinely and honestly. And then you know exactly what you're dealing with when you come to view the car. Roof is lovely and clean as well. Well, the only other one minor imperfection you can see is a mark, two marks on the tailgate there. But other than that, very, very clean. So we'll now dive into the interior and see what we've got going on here. Now this 
for me is the real party piece of the car. Absolutely stunning. Nagaro blue Alcantara with black leather trim. That is just an incredible color combination on this car. I think it just sets it off absolutely beautifully. Most of the S6s came with black leather. So this was uh, an option in this car. And as far as I'm concerned, whoever spec the car from new got it absolutely spot on. It is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. It's got such a, a wow factor to it. Some of you might not be big fans of the blue, but it, I think it's just absolutely amazing. Rear seats look like they've barely been sat in, with the exception of a trip to the Oxydale 750 mile round trip that I did just last week with the family. And of course the car ran absolutely impeccably. Move on into the details of the interior, steering wheel, Sports S6 steering wheel, of course, barely any wear on it, nothing at all discernible. Not cracked, not dried. The dash is free from any cracks, any scuffs, any marks. The original phone kit that is in here has not been drilled through at all. It's a proper install that can be removed should you wish. Gear gator, gear knob, lovely and clean, lovely and tidy. All of the switch gear is present and correct. Nothing cracked, nothing broken. Lovely clean dials. Nice clean glass. It's got this gorgeous blue fleck. Don't know how clearly you can see it, that's in the carbon fiber as well, which is really lovely. One thing to note, you can see there perfectly clearly the mileage, 122,000 miles. That panel doesn't illuminate, so of course you can see it, but at night it is trickier to read. So it will be a bulb, I should imagine, that needs replacing in the dash. But as I say, you can read it absolutely fine, so it's not a concern of mine. Stereo system is a Bose setup. And Six disc changer in the back, subwoofer as well. That's a CD. That operates as it should do. Oops, wrong button. Next track. That's the hands free system. The Bluetooth. It's actually a very good system. I do like my car stereos and, um, and I've never been a huge fan of some of the Bose stuff, but it's a really nice system in this car. Tape deck also works. Where's that? Radio and cassette. Slash trust pilot to verify terms apply. So that's nice that all of that is working correctly. Being the plus spec, it also benefited from digital climate control. So I'll pop that on. It got the electric sunroof as well. The sunroof, um, one fault with the roof, it opens on one edge, but not the other. And you can hear the mechanism trying to, to do its thing, but that's gonna need some attention but with it having air conditioning, it hasn't particularly troubled me. Right, just put my foot on the foot brake. You can see as it runs through its checks. That's all good. I'll show you under the bonnet and then I'll fire the car as well. Just before we move away from the interior, just one thing that is worth pointing out. These door shuts here are absolutely stunning. Edges of the doors as well, all the way round. Really, really very clean indeed. Okay, let's have a look under the bonnet. It 
exceptionally clean, very, very tidy. Just lovely to see all of the panels nice and straight. The factory seams and the like still intact. No evidence of any accident damage anywhere. It's just a beautiful, beautiful engine bay. It's really very, very nice indeed. That is the new aircon um, radiator. I'll show you the receipt for that shortly. I've just spent um, just over £500 having that replaced and regassed. But it is all absolutely factory. The only non factory, non OEM item is a um, panel filter that's in the original OEM housing. I'll fire the car up as well in a moment. You can see it's stone cold. I'll take you through to the boot where there is a lot of paperwork for the car. That's the registration, the paints, the plates are off at the moment as I've been detailing the car, but it is on um, the original Franklin Audi and number plates which will come with the car. There is a couple of the rare um, manuals of the car, all the paperwork, service history, the mileage there and the MOTs. So you can see those for the last um, nine years. And the rest of the MOT certs are all in there as well. Uh, this is the invoice that I've just paid for the aircon, uh, and that excludes the cost of the radiator itself. So that is all there. The service history is present and correct. Details of the car there. It was on a private plate at some point. Been on a couple of different plates. But service history is all present and correct and up to date as well. The mileage and the dates tally with the MOT certificates as well, which is always reassuring. And that's the most recent service, which was done in March of this year. And it had the cam belt and the water pump done as well. It was MOT'd in uh, March, so just a couple of weeks after that. Unusually as well, three sets of keys. There's one set in the ignition at the moment, but you've got the master set and another original Audi key with working fobs, new batteries in each of those. Boot shut is absolutely lovely as well. The spare wheel well is immaculate. It's got a another a full size S6 alloy in there with a Pirelli P0 tire on it. There is the uh, removable tow bar in there and the jack and the warning triangle and the six disc original changer are just in there. You have the Bose subwoofer on this side. You have a rear window blind which retracts nice and easily. So that's fully operational. Mechanically, the car is sensational. It is an absolute pleasure to drive. There's no smoke, no knocks, no bangs, no rattles, no squeaks. It is from the era of Audi when they were absolutely on the ball with build quality or making truly exceptional cars like this. I'll fire the car up for you now. So you can see the car running from cold. It's absolutely stone cold at the moment. Dab the brake pedal again. Just take out the 
check system. You can see cold car, cold engine. a very subtle burble from the exhaust that doesn't intrude at all on the motorways it's just nice to nice to have that just that little reminder that there's some genuine five pot performance under the bonnet the car wants for absolutely nothing people always or well usually when people are looking to buy a car they will ask why it's being sold and very simply I'm, I'm a real car enthusiast. I'm fortunate enough to have Lancia Delta HF Turbo and currently restoring a Saab 900 Turbo which is consuming quite a lot of my time and with autumn and winter kind of on the horizon now I want to really make some solid progress with that one and make sure that it's as close to completion as possible before the winter sets in yeah, I've had some. I've had some other lovely cars, E39 uh, M5, uh, Lancia Integrale, all sorts of stuff. I can honestly say that this is probably the most original, most beautiful, straightest, and just loveliest fuss-free car out of the lot that I've ever owned. So we'll genuinely be set to see it go. I do welcome any questions. Any comments, even if you're not in a serious position to buy, please feel free to add some comments to the video. I'll answer whatever questions I possibly can. And thank you very much for watching. Take care, bye bye.